Hello again. This is our third in our quick and dirty series of videos using Brown's Gas for Health. And in this case we're going to talk about enhancing water. Now, as I explained in the last video, we'll talk about actually bubbling the Brown's Gas through water. So it, in this case I'm just taking the hose and just using a regular water container, sticking it in there, and then the Brown's Gas just bubbles up through the water. In this case, you can think of it as TENS as far as treatments go. At, at 50 liters an hour, uh, bubbling through essentially a liter of, uh, or a pint of water, um, 10 minutes is, is sufficient for that. And um, again, I'll now say the disclaimer, I am not uh, in any way um, prescribing or any, anything. You, this is just information that's happening either personally or my customers have been telling me things. There may be uh, more or less bubbling that uh, you do that works better for you. It's all your own experimentation. To, to understand a little bit, uh, there's, there's two aspects of this. There's the enhancing water and there's the energizing water. I'll talk about energizing water in the next video. In enhancing water, you have to understand that Brown's gas is made of hydrogen and oxygen, um, both in monatomic and diatomic forms. These have been uh, thoroughly tested by uh, independent uh, scientists and stuff now. There isn't too much uh, monatomic hydrogen and oxygen, but it's definitely there in our in our machines about three percent or so, which uh, brings me back to saying, um, for health re uh, aspects, for health applications, you only need about 50 liters an hour. A machine that'll do 50 liters an hour, 100 at the most, if you if you're doing lots of stuff. But so the ER 1200s were definitely overkill for the uh, people who were just trying to enhance health, except when they were doing. Uh, as I'll talk about in the energi energizing water, um, uh, whole gardens um, uh, and plants and stuff. But back to where we are. So Brown's gas itself is non-toxic. Hydrogen and oxygen are non-toxic gases. Um, the main thing we're going to talk about here is something called pH and ORP. Uh, pH stands for potential of hydrogen and Lots of people are probably used to an acid alkaline scale 1 to 13 type of thing. So the uh, uh, normally neutral pH would be about 7 and uh, uh, the pH of people's body and pH of water, it, uh, neutral water is about the same but people's body tends to be more healthy if it's on the alkaline uh, side. So a little bit higher than 7. Now it's, it's important to understand on the pH scale that it's a logarithmic scale one being uh, say one but but two being ten three being a hundred it jumps by tens each time so um, obviously eight is a lot greater than seven and the Brown's gas when you bubble it through and then just use a pH strip to uh, measure the pH of the water actually goes to eight eight point five but the interesting thing of it is now Eight eight point five. If you drank it, it would it would burn your throat if it was a, actually an alkaline um, um, chemical. But in the in here, all we're doing is adding hydrogen, and hydrogen is non toxic. So we are increasing the pH of the water, allowing more hydrogen to be able to go into your body, but in a completely non toxic way. Something that just boggles the mind of uh, in scientists who who uh, know this. I, I, <laughs> I won't go into the stories on that, but it, I, I've even had people try to knock the drink out of my head when they saw what the pH would be because they didn't want to see me drinking uh, what they thought was a poison, which in head, it was just the opposite, in fact. So, the, uh, the other thing is oxygen reduction potential. And as I uh, explained before, have explained many times, um, hydrogen is the ultimate antioxidant. So by putting more hydrogen into your body, uh, and in this case into the water, when they do the tests that measure um, oxygen reduction potential, the uh, uh, water experts, there's been several alternative, um, alternative science, alternative water experts, that, that that's their business. They, they f try to find the healthiest possible water for people. And in at least four cases, top uh, experts about water tested this water and found when they were bubbling Brown's gas in the water, testing the Brown's gas bubbled water, it was up to 10 times more effective in things like oxygen reduction potential than anything they had ever seen. Now these are experts that it, this is their life's work, right? So the 
and they all isn't it's essentially they all bought uh, some of our water uh, water torches to have in their own shops and labs and stuff so the browns gas raises the pH of water into a more healthy state it in uh, as far as the oxygen goes and or excuse me hydrogen goes and makes the oxygen reduction potential which is a, a great indicator of uh, healthy water um, great so what does this mean what what happens as far as uh, treatments well our customers have been telling us things like they'll take a cotton ball they'll soak it with water uh, in this particular case and they'll put a cap on it just a regular uh, cap like off a, a pop bottle and then tape that onto a wound or a, um, in this case it was a melanoma type cancer that we're thinking about the guy had it right on his uh, on his forehead right here and he would just tape it on there and in two weeks the melanoma dried up and and it was healed and another woman that I'm uh, um, I know personally had quadruple uh, bypass heart surgery and in order to do that they uh, they actually take veins from the the legs to, to uh, put it up in the chest and in this case three months after the surgery her her leg wounds were not healing they uh, they were weeping they, they just wouldn't heal so what we did is we I lent her my machine and she I did that same sort of thing uh, several times a day she would soak cotton balls with uh, um, with uh, the Browns gas bubbled water and uh, and put those uh, bandages on her wound and again in two weeks the wound had dried up and healed so it was uh, uh, it's just amazing for helping and healing so the first video the videos you saw before we're talking about pain relief in this case we're talking about healing particularly in the uh, 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 skin area by applying the Browns gas externally and I'm not sure of all the things that it does when you drink it internally, but I've been uh, drinking it myself since, uh, oh shoot, it's been about six or seven years now. Um, at first I was drinking it almost exclusively, and in incidentally, in all of those years, I never got sick. Recently I started drinking some uh, pop carbonated drinks and stuff, and, uh, and, I, and I had an epidote. Uh, I, uh, flu symptoms hit me, and I've now gone back to bring, drinking my Browns gas. This is the uh, video on enhancing water. Next we'll talk about the uh, energizing of water. And um, again, the uh, ER50 kits, we make them in batches. At the time you're watching this video, we may have a batch available. Just check on the website. If it isn't on the website, subscribe to our e-news because then you'll automatically get an email from us every time we make a production run of the ER50s. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.